IPS versus IDS, understanding the key differences for enhanced cybersecurity. Welcome to Dallas Cyber. In this in-depth video, we explore into the captivating world of cybersecurity to explore the essential distinctions between IPS, Intrusion Prevention System, and IDS, Intrusion Detection System. Join us as we take a comprehensive look at these vital security tools, their features, benefits, and real-world applications. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all our future content. Let's dive right in. Hello, fellow cybersecurity enthusiasts. Welcome back to Dallas Cyber, your ultimate destination for everything related to cybersecurity. I'm your host, and today we have an exciting topic to discuss, IPS versus IDS. If you've ever wondered about the differences between these two essential security systems, you're in for a treat. IPS and IDS play integral roles in safeguarding our networks, but they have distinct functionalities and purposes. Let's take a closer look at each one. An intrusion detection system, or IDS, acts as a vigilant sentry, continuously monitoring your network for any signs of suspicious activity. It uses various techniques, such as signature-based detection and anomaly detection, to identify potential threats. Once an intrusion is detected, it sends alerts to your security team, enabling them to investigate further and take appropriate action. On the other hand, an intrusion prevention system, or IPS, takes things a step further. In addition to detecting intrusions, it actively works to prevent them. By analyzing network traffic and applying predefined security policies, an IPS can proactively block malicious traffic or terminate suspicious connections. This real-time threat prevention capability sets IPS apart from IDS. Now let's delve deeper into the key differences between IPS and IDS. IPS provides an additional layer of security by actively blocking and mitigating threats in real time. It can be likened to a security guard that not only detects intruders, but also takes immediate action to neutralize them. On the other hand, IDS serves as an early warning system, alerting your security team to potential breaches and vulnerabilities. It focuses on analyzing and monitoring network traffic to provide valuable insights into potential threats. So, which one should you choose for your organization? Well, it depends on your specific needs and priorities. If you're looking for a more proactive approach to security, IPS is your go-to solution. It can actively block and prevent intrusions, minimizing the risk to your network. IPS is particularly useful in high-risk environments where immediate response to threats is crucial. On the other hand, if you value early detection and analysis to understand potential vulnerabilities and gain insights into your network's security posture, IDS is the better choice. IDS can help you identify patterns and potential weaknesses in your network, allowing you to fine-tune your security measures. It's important to note that both IPS and IDS work best when integrated into a comprehensive cybersecurity framework. By deploying both systems, you create a layered defense that provides maximum protection against a wide range of threats. Remember, cybersecurity is an ever-evolving landscape and no single solution can provide complete protection. A well-rounded security strategy combines multiple tools and techniques to address various aspects of cybersecurity. In conclusion, IPS and IDS are vital components of an effective cybersecurity posture. IPS offers real-time threat prevention, while IDS focuses on early detection and analysis. By understanding their differences and selecting the appropriate solution for your needs, you can strengthen your organization's security defenses. Well, that wraps up our in-depth discussion on IPS versus IDS. I hope you found this video informative and gained a clearer understanding of these crucial security systems. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow cyber enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe to Dallas Cyber for more engaging videos. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions or suggestions for future video topics, please leave them in the comment section below. Stay secure, stay curious, and we'll catch you in the next video. This is Dallas Cyber signing off.